Hi guys, welcome back to the Little Craft House. Today I thought we would do a little bit of exploring and a little bit of playing around with some foils. So the foils that are like an imitation gold leaf, but not necessarily gold. Uh, there's so many different colors out there um, that you're able to get. In our store alone, we sell so many different colors, um, purples, pinks, blacks, greens, gold, silvers, loads of colors. So yeah, I thought we'd have a play around and see some different uses for them. Okay, so here's what I'm talking about. This foil, it's really fine and really thin. It's not like the foils that you, not like an aluminium foil or an Easter egg foil. This is much finer. Um, it's able to stick to our polymer clay without the need for adhesive. Obviously, there's other uses um, for this other than in polymer clay, but as polymer clay is my thing, uh, today we're going to use it on the polymer clay. And so I've pulled out a few different colours here. As I say, there is so many colours available, but I've chosen these ones for today. And so I think we shall get started. Okay, so one of the things that I do like about using the foil is that if you've got some clay that is a little bit dirty um, or the colours just aren't quite right, you're able to use the foil to hide it. So um, this one's had a bit of like colour from the pasta machine when I've mixed it so we're going to put that face side up and put the thinner side down sorry the neater side down and then what I'm going to do is very carefully get my foil and place it over the top now because it is so fine chances are it will probably rip so I'm going to do it really carefully I only have one chance at this the moment it touches the clay we're not going to be able to remove it did rip but that's okay All right. so now I'm just going to really gently smooth it on so that it sticks onto the clay properly Now, there are a few little air bubbles and things, but that's okay. What we are going to do with this one now, or let me show you first. So it has that nice shine to it. And it's not perfect, but we're going to get some sandpaper. I'm going to put sandpaper over the top. Now, this one is a 40 grit, so it's quite a chunky, rough sandpaper which is going to give it a really nice imprint oh look at that so i absolutely love this look and i do this quite often it just really takes that foil to the next level so that is one super easy way to use your colored foil Right, next up, I'm going to get two contrasting colours. So I've got a piece of black clay and I'm going to use some of this lavender lilac coloured um, foil. So I'll pop the foil to the side for the moment and just quickly get my clay conditioned up. I might need a bit more than that. Right, so I've just popped that through the pasta machine on the thickest setting. So it's about a two and a half, three millimeter thickness. And then what I'm going to do is fold that in half so that it is double thickness. And I'm going to apply my foil to this. Now, 
Now, as you can see, it hasn't used up the whole sheet. So what I'll do is just really gently tear off those extra bits and I'll pop it back in that sheet and pop it back into my box where I keep my foils because sometimes I just want a little bit or I just want to, um, yeah, I don't want a full sheet. So I always use up all these bits. They never go to waste. Okay, so I've smoothed that out while it's in its thick stage and now I'm going to get my acrylic roller and I'm going to roll it down to back to the 3mm um, depth that I like my pieces to be. So I'm going to use my frame and that's going to keep my levels consistent. Um, so I'm just going to go really gently because watch what happens as I go over the top and the clay stretches. The foil crackles. So obviously the thicker you roll your clay, the more, sorry, the thicker it is to start with, the more crackle effect you're going to get. So if I didn't do that as thick as that and just took it down a little bit, I'd just get a little crackle. Okay, and our final way we're going to use our foil today is with a silk screen. So, try and do this without breaking it. So just the same as you would do a normal silk screen, but this time we've got the foil down. So I'm going to pop that over the top. And I am just going to leave this bit up here um, because I'm going to hopefully be able to get some pieces out of this top bit as well. I'm going to line it up and smooth it down. Now, if you would like to see a full step-by-step um, silk screen tutorial. I have done one of those previously, so I will link that into the um, description box today because um, we're just going to kind of go over this one just a bit quickly. Now, you won't get as good of adhesion on the foil as what you do on the clay, so that's also another reason that I don't mind leaving a bit of clay at the top there. Um, if your whole piece is just the foil, you may want to stick down the edges with something just to hold it in place so it doesn't move around too much. Now I'm going to use my um, acrylic white paint today and I've got an old business card to do the scraping with. Now if you've ever used a silk screen before, you know the most important thing is once we peel off, I need to go and wash the silk screen. So that is going to, I will peel it off and I will pause the video um, while I wash it because if we let the paint dry in the silk screen, the fine mesh, um, so the bits where you can see through, um, if they get paint stuck in them, it ruins the silk screen and you won't be able to use it again. Right, so just a thin layer across the top. And we're just going to screen that over. Ooh. 
looks so good. All right, let's go and go wash my screen. Look at that. How cool does that look? Okay, so there is three really simple ways that you can use foils with your polymer clay. Hope you like those ideas. Now, I'm going to later on cut out and bake these pieces. I won't use it as part of this tutorial because I just wanted to give you the ideas on things that you can do with the foils. Um, after I have cut and baked my pieces, though, I will need to protect the foil. Um, it is pretty stable on there. Like, it's not going to just rub off really easy because it has been pressed into the clay. Um, the fact that this one has paint on it as well, that will need protecting. And the same as this one here, if it does happen to rub off, it's not a huge big deal because it's already got that crackly, not perfect look to it anyway. But I will still seal them just to try and hold that um, foil on a little bit better as well. Now with... Um, with sealing your polymer clay, you can of course use resin. Um, that will give a domed, super shiny effect. Um, I can link in my um, description box for this tutorial, a tutorial that I did do all about resin doming your polymer clay pieces, if you're interested in that. Um, otherwise, I do generally just seal using a, a polymer clay specific sealer. So there are a few different ones on the market. Um, these four here are the ones that I tend to use the most. So you get, um, oh, I've also got a matte finish of this as well, but because my foils are shiny, I would use one of the gloss sealers, um, not the semi-gloss or the matte because I want my foils to remain shiny. So they are the sealers that I would probably use for this. So once again, I just want to say thank you for joining me for today's tutorial. hope this has given you guys some ideas. And if you're looking to purchase some foil, we do have it available in our store and on our website as well. So thanks for joining me and I hope to see you again next time. Bye.